We're here at Yanaka Ginza Shopping Street to show you what this small little quaint, quiet part of Tokyo has to offer. If you want to explore something a little bit different, there's a cat themed here. Let's go check it out. I'll show you what this place has to offer. And in this video, we're going to hide a little Lego man in one scene. If you find him, leave a comment in the description and you win nothing. So one of the first shops you get to when you come down the stairs is this wicked good fried food shop or fried meat shop. And I got, uh, this one's pork and beef. You have to ask the guy if you don't speak Japanese or read Japanese, there's nothing in English, but the dudes are super friendly and uh, spoke pretty good English. So this one's apparently beef and pork. So it's minced pork and beef. And it's so good. And it's got like a, almost like a hamburger patty inside. If anyone knows what a rissol is, it tastes like a rissol. Fried food, can't go wrong. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And cheap too. I think it was 100 yen for 100 grams and it was less than 100, it was about 100 yen, whatever it was. It was really cheap. There he is. Nice. Right here, this is the one I've been after. Yay. Got really cute stamps here and I'm definitely going to get one. So now I've just got to go in and decide which one. Much to this one's annoyance. Boring. All these different designs and they're really helpful. It takes about 40 minutes. Ooh, fortune telling. Next we tried this place Hakodo for some fermented tea and some fermented butter onigiri. Highly recommended if you're in Yanaka. So there's this like shop here and they actually do taiyaki but it's like a Maniki Nito taiyaki. You better believe I'm trying one because taiyaki is my favourite thing. Maneko Maniki Maniko. What's he called? Maniki Nico. Maniki Nico, little cat. I got cream and custard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to wipe that up. It's good, it's sweet, it's delicious. Mmm, so much filling it. It's floated. It's really good. It's really warm, so when you get it, you've got to eat it nice and quick. They cook it fresh right in front of you, so you can watch them cook it and then eat it while it's hot off the press. Nice and warm, toasty, in the belly, at the butthole. Tricky is to slurp it up, otherwise it goes everywhere, but definitely recommend Little Cat Taiyaki. They've even got a little 100 yen store. I love these little, like, local 100 yen shops. Did you want one? No. Really? Stop at this small little alcohol store, get a fresh beer that they pour off tap. You can sit on little beer crates and enjoy beer while doing some shopping, eating some food. So I've just gone into this shop here, it's at the end of the street, Yuzu Riha, I don't really know how to pronounce it, <laughs> but um, yeah, I saw these, I love senbei, and I saw these traditional looking senbei coated in sugar, oh doggy, doggy, oh kawaii, hello darling, <laughs> oh they are cute, oh they are cute, oh, oh look at his fluffy little bum bum. Oh, look at his fluffy little bum. Distracted, distracted by the doggies. So yeah, got these traditional looking senbei coated in sugar. They look delicious. I've only got one other thing food-wise to take home. So I'm gonna take these home. We might do like a food video for you guys trying these snacks out. Let us know if you wanna see that. Yuzu Ria, at the very end of the street. I'm sure I'm butchering how you pronounce that. Enjoyed the other one so much, I went back for the one I was eyeing off, which is red bean and whipped cream. Completely different, this one's cold, and it's in like more of a wafer style, like a soft wafer, like it's still cakey, but different. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. I don't know which one I prefer. 
Mmm. This one's perfect for summer because it's cold. Just off the main shopping street, turn left when you get to the end, you knock a coffee. Mm. I got the iced coffee, this is the house blend. Possibly the best coffee in Tokyo. If you love coffee, check it out. They've got all their beans here, they've got their roaster here. It's only a small little shop. There's one, two, three, four, uh, four chairs if you want to sit in. There's maybe two chairs outside. It's a really small place, people are buying beans. It's really cool, you knock up, coffee shop. Check it out. I hope you like this video. Yanaka really is a cool little trendy part of Tokyo, a lot quieter than anywhere else I've been in Tokyo. So definitely come check it out. And if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you on the next one. Bye. Yeah.